How are you doing guys and welcome to this beautiful location in South London, England. And today I'm doing a test which I've wanted to do ever since I got my Panasonic BGH-1 and that was to compare it against my Blackmagic 4K. And the reason why I wanted to test it is not to see which one is better, it's just to see which one I could use in certain situations. So I've been wanting to do this test, get a friend to come out and you know check it against dynamic range and, and you know highlights and skin tones and all sorts of stuff and we got some good footage today. So we're just over in this little corner right here, which was a nice little spot with a nice bench and lots of flowers. So guys, yeah, it's a, it's a very good video, very interesting video. So sit back and enjoy it, and I hope you can give me some feedback in the comment section. So first up, we have the BMPCC 4K, and I really like this image. This is a very minimal grade, a few touch-ups here and there, and a glow added on to give it that nice softness, but I really like this. I think the skin tones are quite nice. Some of you guys could have probably done better on the skin, but this is a very quick grade. The BGH1 looks equally as nice, if you ask me. I like the detail, the clarity, the colors. The, the only thing I don't like is that the you can see I've blown out the hair and the shoulder. Now, I had to expose for her face because I wanted it to look clean and bright, but unfortunately I blew out her shoulder and her hair and there's no way for me to recover that. Again, the BMPCC 4K, I really like this shot as well. It's nice and soft. I think her skin looks nice and soft. Again, could be keyed a bit better, but it's all right, it's all right. BGH1 really shines here though, the detail and the clarity. It's not overly sharp, but it just looks really nice and clean. And here you can see the two of them together. Now the BMPCC 4K is in Braw, so it did need a bit of sharpness added as well. Here you can see the BMPCC 4K with just a Rec 709 LUT, so there's no grade in here at all, it's just a LUT applied and that's, that's all we went with. And the BGH1 has had the same treatment here. In my opinion, the Blackmagic Pocket won out on that one. It just looks so much more natural and cleaner, while this one looks a lot more red. Here we have this shot with her going to a well, and I really love this shot from the BMPCC 4K. It looks clean, the colors are popping, it looks vibrant, it looks really nice. Again, it's a quick grade, could have been done better, but it's done really well. But the BGH1 won in my opinion here. It might just be that little bit of extra crop, but the well and my subject Leah really stand out and I really like the way it just looks so clean and, and 3D looking. I really love it. And here we have the both of them together. And the only thing I don't like is on the BGH1 is her hair is reddish, like a red color from the sun. It's more like the BMPCC 4K is what I saw in real life. And here we just have two shots here, nothing special, just a moving shot and I just thought I'd throw these in for anyone that wants to see anything moving. Nothing fancy here at all. So the lenses I used on this test were the Sigma 18-35 to 1.8 and the Canon 50mm STM. Both cameras were using Viltrox speed boosters and I think the Viltrox speed booster is absolutely fine, I have no problems with them, I think they do the job. So guys, I really want to know what you think about these tests. So don't be shy. Put your comments in the in the you know down below and I really need to know what you guys think. Thank you for watching the City Geezer and I'll see you on the next amazing video.